and welcome back to Dolly Wiggly Pottery. Today I am going to be throwing a pie plate. I've started off with about four and a half pounds of clay. And I'm going to make it the wheel spun in. Um, my hand's wet with my sponge. When I'm centering, I like to um, put a lot of forward pressure and um, I am pretty quickly start centering at the bottom with my thumb and I run the clay all the way up to the top and I kind of squeeze the clay between my hands and um, I work the clay back and forth like that until I get it um, mixed really well and centered. It's not just about centering the clay, it's about preparing the clay. So the smoother and more even that you have all the little particles going, the easier it's going to be to throw. So once we get it good and centered, which sometimes it, you know, it takes a few shots, and I'm going for this shape where I like to get it flattened out and give myself a nice little pad to bend my fist through. So um, I'm going to get some little water on my hand, and now I'm going to come at the clay with my fist, and I'm going to burrow right down through the center of the clay with my fist. And sometimes it takes a couple of shots, um, but I'm um, getting the depth, and then I just pull my hand straight across the piece, and I'm holding center on the rim as I come out. And then I like to do a lot of compression on the bottom. So um, I'll do a lot of sweeps back from center, and I usually when I move clay, I like to move it from the from uh, from the outside to the inside. So I'm going out, and then I'm going to go right back in and compress the clay. So anytime I'm going out, I go back to the center. The last pull or push on a plate or anything with a bottom is to the center. Um, I always try to get a really good compression of the particles in the middle of a piece. So um, just I keep smoothing that bottom until I get it the thickness that I want. I'm getting all the little ripples and lines out of it. Um, I'm trying to get it as uh, smooth and even they possibly can before I start pulling on the sides. Um, I think I'm close to done. Uh, I'm doing my voiceover, so I'm kind of crazy as soon as I go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pinch. I give a pretty good pinch on the, um, on the inside rim there, and I just push it straight up. You know, I think it might be a little bit of an adult move, but that's the way I feel right now. I'm like, that first pull is first clawing in, you know, to make a wall. I always pinch it. So here's a bona fide pull. I'm going straight in at the foot and then coming up the side. It's a little bit of an angle. Um, pie plates, you know, I want them wider at the top than at the bottom, so they have an angle. So each pull, I am thinking about that, and I'm leaving extra clay at the bottom to support the wall while I'm throwing. Um, you know, with time and experience, you can really get a lot of that clay up into the pot. Um, I'm starting to notice my pieces are getting big again because I'm stretching it a little farther. Um, again, uh, things like that happen, oh, you know once a year at least, sometimes more than that. Um, I've been making pottery for quite some time now. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, I just got stretched out of the door. I need to turn the mic up here. So, um, I take a couple of shots on the rim, and that's looking pretty good, so I'm probably going to sponge it off here, give it a nice sponging. Um, you don't want to leave too much sand and water on your pieces because um, it'll uh, uh, cause it to crack. It, all those little particles that you've taken the time to compress and push together if water stands on it. 
it will make that um, those little particles spread back apart again. So I have pinched out the rim, and I just do a pretty quick pinch with my uh, fingers. And um, I like to use um, some kind of plastic or something around the rim to get a nice smooth round rim. And right now I'm actually using exsanguination tape. I don't know if any of you know what that is. And um, it's pretty cool stuff. A friend of mine gave me a whole roll of it. And that, I figure I'll be using that for the rest of my life because I got a bunch of it. So um, I like to take the extra clay off before I try to pinch off the clay. I'm watching the time tick because it's a little early. And I'm going to do an undercut. I do the undercut with my needle tool. So I kind of draw the line straight into the, to the wheel head. And then I'll get my... My wire tool. Oh, nope, I'm going to go around the rim. So just, you know, I do a quick between the two fingers, kind of like you're doing a pie crust, you know. Um, and it gives you a place to lie and put your dough when you're making the pie crust. Um, and it's spreading a lot of, I do, I do a, a motion like that on a lot of my pieces. Um, sometimes on the rims and but I'm really getting into um, doing a lot of more altering with my fingers now than the base the pieces. Um, I got some pictures of those up on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. I'm going to get them up on the web page eventually. Maybe even do a video one day. So I'm off to Canada now. Um, that area is my wire tool. It's usually on a couple of beads, handmade beads usually. <laughs> that I uh, sew together with some pie crust stitching wire. Um, well, folks, that's going to wrap up the pie plate. Um, here's a nice little view of it. Now, I really want to thank everyone for watching my video. And go ahead and subscribe and check back soon to see what else I have going on.